Nikki, last video on my C-Factor story. Um, I don't know what I actually, I don't know what I've actually said in any of these videos. Um, so I'll just finish it up and post them and then go hide. Um, okay. So what, where I am with it now is that your C factor is, my C factor is potential. Um, it tells me how packed my blood sugar is. Um, my 150 could be very packed and it could mean that I could spring up to a 200 quickly. My 150 could be a very thin 150 and it could mean that I have to be careful if I'm really active because it might drop fast. It gives me a lot of information and I'm using it all day long in manual mode to, um, to, to help curb the blood sugar swings. My range has tightened up like this. I was testing an enormous amount, but today I've tested eight times. I'm learning how to use my SG as a gauge for whether or not I need to test my blood sugar. Um, and these are all working with numbers that I'm still, you know, a little bit shaken, but not shaken, but I'm uh, nervous with because I, because I'm learning and because I don't have anyone to ask. Um, the bottom line is that in auto mode, I, my A1C went from a 9.3 or whatever it was, 10, whatever, to a 7.2. I was blown away. I loved auto mode and I loved auto mode right up until I started back on the carbs, which is more of my kind of lifestyle. And then it, you know, it spun me out. Um, I struggled and went to manual. Manual was great, except for I always crashed in it. And that's when I started to mess around with all this. And now where I am is in manual most of the time with an A1C of a 6.7 um, and a blood sugar range of you know 70 with a high of a 200. And I hit that maybe once a day and usually not. And, um, and I'm exercising and I'm eating regularly and, I'm, and I'm, it's really cool. I don't wanna sell it on anybody, sell anybody. I just realized that people might be watching these videos because people are like, oh yeah, I mentioned to my trainer the other day and I'm like, that's, that's real. And I <laughs> need to say something to people. So um, where I am right now, three months later, six months, I don't even know how long I've been doing this, is I got a stack of scholarly articles and I've got a stack of studies and I am making my way through them about one sentence a day. <laughs> um, but I'm making my way through them. I've got notebooks, I've got notes, I've got a great A1C, and I've got better control over how often I'm testing because that was the big thing. If you could have it all, but it meant your face were buried in your tester all day, is it worth it? That one's up for debate. Some days I say yes, but most days I say no. But I'm figuring out a way to do it without all the testing. Um, and I think it's really wonderful stuff. Um, mm, and I was gonna see if there was anything else. And I think this is what Automo's doing. I'll leave it on that one. People talk about why do I get a microbolus? Why do I not get a microbolus? So since I've learned how to calculate my calibration factor, um, I know when that 150 is packed and when it's not packed. Um, and so does auto mode because there is sensor raw data. That's what it's using. So if it sees a packed 150, if it sees a calibration factor of a six or whatever it is, it might bump up your microbolus even if your blood sugar is a 90 um, because it's seeing that potential too. I think that the problem is, is that because there's a delay and I, and I would like to make a video on the delay because it's a very real thing. I thought maybe I was crazy about that, but um, it's a very real thing. There's all kinds of literature on that as well. Um, and I think that the more you swing, the bigger the, the delay tends to be, the more you have auto mode acting on that delay and it just kind of turns into some inappropriate uh, treatment at inappropriate times. Now, if you're willing to ride out a 300 for four hours, then that's great. Um, and if you have stable blood sugars anyway, which is now my goal all day, every day, then um, that's great and Automode will love you. And now I'm four minutes into this one, so I'm gonna go do something else. <sighs> read an article or not. Have a great day, thanks for watching.